whole section. Okay. And then we can apply the concentric load on this intersection point. Or we can apply the distributed load on this uh, part of section of the, on this top surface. So now let's split this top surface into four sections. Okay. The first thing is click the sketch, my sketch, and the second thing is click the top surface one. We want to go to split and check it. And now we split our top surface into four sections. Okay, now let's new a new study. Then the same way, apply to material, <laughs> material one, and then fixture, same fixture on this side, and then stone on out. So that's why the force is on the south end, and then roughly it by the force. Okay. And then this time we can choose this point. Or you can choose this uh, this section. Then you can divide the split in the force on this split section. But in this example, we are going to apply the concentric load on this point. And we can click this intersection point. But uh, it's not done. We have to define the direction of this force. So what I have to do is just uh, click the select direction for this force. Okay. Then let's choose this vertical edge. Now this force will go along the same direction with this vertical edge. Then define the value for this force. Okay, let me double check. Then check it. Okay, materials, mixture, and load. Then we can run it. Okay. 